Good morning everybody and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Today is May 27th of 2022. It's currently about eh, 4.15 in the morning here in Middle Tennessee. And that means we're about to try and shoot the Mars and Jupiter conjunction. exact same simple setup that I've used so many times on this channel before. All I'm going to be using is the Skywatcher 8 inch Dobsonian telescope here and my Canon T5i. And I'm going to be attaching the camera here to this Dobsonian using just a T-ring and a T-adapter. And if you'd like to know more about this setup, be sure to check out this video. I'll link it up above here somewhere so you can see exactly how I attach this camera here to this telescope. Now I know you can't see it right now, but Jupiter and Mars is just over my left shoulder here. So let's go ahead and set up out here and see what we can get. wasted about 15 minutes here now just looking through the eyepiece of this conjunction now uh, visibly they, they're not quite as close as Jupiter and Saturn was here I believe it was in December of 2020 of that uh, great conjunction but still just looking at it here in the sky they appear to be roughly about a full moon width apart which is still a sight to see man just seeing two planets like that in the in the eyepiece together that's that's something else. Oh man. I'm excited to see what the camera can pick up. And there they are. Both Jupiter and Mars in the same frame right now in the night sky. That is so cool. You can see right now I've got my ISO turned up on my camera so you can see the moons of Jupiter as well. <laughs> my eye so down some and pick up a little bit more detail on the planets there but we'll go in for a closer look just here momentarily I'm now using the Celestron Omni 2x Bardo lens and Mars is just out of frame of this shot right here. I wish I could get both of them in the same shot because that would be... This Barlow lens, that would be a really cool shot. But I don't think that's going to happen. And now here's Mars with the two X bottle lens. Mm -hmm. 
Now, one thing that's important to know here is that we do have a kind of a thin haze of low lane clouds here. So it's definitely kind of thrown off our clarity a little bit. But this is just kind of give you guys an idea of what you see with this setup right here. And here it may not look like much, but man, through the eyepiece, it's a totally different story. I've got plenty of other videos on my channel showing what this telescope can do, especially on Jupiter and Saturn, and I will link that up above here right now. This is also the closest approach that Jupiter and Mars is going to make to one another. Right, guys and that's about it it's getting lighter here by the second right now and i know you may not really see that in the video but it's getting to where you can barely see mars right now in the sky you still see jupiter pretty good but it won't be another 10 or 15 minutes here before image quality just totally nosedives um here towards the end of my shooting it kind of already has but i'm happy that i can give you guys just a rough idea of what you can see through the skywatcher eight inch Dobsonian here like I said, I will link some other videos uh, down in the description below showing off uh, just really what this telescope can do here. So man, this is, this is the perfect beast to start out with right here. I'm really happy that I got to catch it right there. That's a once in a lifetime thing right there, being able to see two planets like that through the same eyepiece at the same time. Uh, I've got some other big projects I'm working on right now and I really can't wait to start uh, putting all that together for you guys. Um, I'm really excited for the future of this channel here. So, as always, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.